The climate of an area consists of the average temperature and precipitation of the last 30 years. One way to describe the climate is by a climate graph. A climate graph is separated in 12 short periods. These are the months. By making a line we can visualize the average temperature per month for a specific place. The temperature is shown in the right side of the climate graph. When we draw a temperature line for Amsterdam, the Netherlands, we can see that it's on average 35 degrees Fahrenheit in January and February. Winter ends and it starts getting warmer. In May it's around 53 degrees. In June, July and August it's on average 63 degrees. After the summer it's getting colder. Although it's in September still 57 degrees, it declines to 39 degrees in December. And this way we can easily show the characteristics of the climate of Amsterdam. The coldest months and the warmest months are easily found in this graph. Precipitation is the other characteristic of a climate. In climate graphs we visualize precipitation by a bar graph. So in Amsterdam there is on average 3 inch precipitation in January. When the average precipitation levels are shown for an entire year, we can easily see when the most precipitation is to be expected. We can also see if there is a dry period and if there is a period when there is severe rainfall which can cause floods. By analyzing a climate graph we can easily guess where this place is located at the world. First, we look at the warm period. When this warm period is in December and January, then the place will be in the southern hemisphere. When the warm period is in July and August, the place will be located in the northern hemisphere. The climate graph also shows us the average temperature. When the average temperature in a year is high, this place will be located very near to the equator. When the average temperature is low, this place will most likely be located towards the North or South Pole. The average temperature difference between summer and winter will be huge. The precipitation pattern tells us how far a pl place is located from a sea. When there isn't a lot of precipitation, the place will likely be located further inland. However, there are many exceptions to this rule. When you are asked to match some climate graphs with some random places in the world, this is a possible way to operate. Choose the most extreme climate graph concerning temperature or precipitation pattern. In this case we will choose for the climate graph which shows the coldest place. This place is located at the most distant place from the equator. At the equator is warm and there is a lot of precipitation. At a small distance from the equator it is warm and it has a rain and dry season. When we move further on from the equator we arrive at dry places. These are the deserts. Further on from the equator we arrive at the moderate climate. It's not really warm nor cold. When two climate graphs look a bit similar, the climate graph with the mildest winter will be located near a sea, while the climate graph with the coldest winter will be located further inland.